The documentary I chose for my ISU was Food Inc. Through watching this documentary, it opened my views on how the food industry actually works. Supermarkets and Corn Over 30% of the USA's land mass is used to grow corn. The farmers who grow it are paid by the government to do so. In a single grocery store, 90% of processed food products contain either corn or soya beans. Snack foods such as chips, fries, and almost any fast food item are all made from crops like corn, potatoes, wheat, and soybean, which all of those crops are heavily subsidized by the government, therefore making them cheaper, which is why the biggest factor of obesity is income level. Corn is used to feed chickens, cows, pigs, and even fish because it is very cheap and fattening. Cows and Beef McDonald's is the number one purchaser of ground beef in the United States. Farms had to produce meat faster for the demand, therefore making genetically modified corn and feeding it to the cows. From there, E. coli evolved. In slaughter factories and farms, they have their cattle stand knee-deep in their manure, so if one cow has E. coli, others will get it also. When slaughtered, they are done 400 per hour, and the virus will spread very easily. In the USA, there are a total of 13 slaughterhouses, so when buying ground beef from grocery stores, it will have meat from thousands of different cows in one package. Chickens and Industrial Chicken Farms Before genetically modified foods, GMOs, chickens would take three months to fully grow, but now chickens are being raised in 49 days and in half the time they are twice as big thanks to antibiotics. People tend to like white meat more, so scientists were made and redesigned chickens to have bigger breasts, therefore making more white meat for the consumer. Chickens are kept in barns with no windows and no light. They are kept in the dark their entire life and will never see daylight. Most chickens are not strong enough to hold their own body weight due to the steroid use when making them really fast, really big. The government's role. 70% of processed foods have some sort of GMO, but the food industry fought so they didn't have to say so on labels for food packaging. It has gotten to the point where it's so bad the government is trying to hide GMOs that it is against the law to criticize the food industry foods, and in Colorado you can even go to prison for it. What can we do to change things? The average consumer does not think they are going to make a single difference, but they are wrong. It is the very opposite. When you buy food, you are voting for local or non-local, organic or non-organic. People also vote three times a day to change the systems, because why should carrots and broccoli be more expensive than chips or any fast food? They shouldn't. Also choosing foods that are in season, local and organic, reading labels and picking healthier foods will change the industries to make healthier food in demand rather than junk foods such as fast food, corn, potatoes, and soybean. Because everybody has the right to deserve healthy food.